Hey, what's up to those five people who still watch my videos? Um, today is going to be a more different one compared to the ones that I have already uploaded. Um, I'm a makeup addict. <laughs> I hoard palettes and lipsticks and eyeliners and so much more than I really should because I really only use like four things. Yeah. But one of those things that I am highly addicted to that even my boyfriend has said I need to come back is highlight. <laughs> um, this is going to be like three, four, my top six highlighters that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Kind of like four or five because I layer three whenever I wear these three together because I have a problem. <laughs> so I'm just gonna share my favorite things and my favorite way to apply them because the amount of times I have like gotten like not I don't wanna say called out but like kinda called out because everyone's just like why do you wear so much highlight? So yeah, I'm just gonna talk to you. This might take a while, might not take that long because I narrowed it down from the 20 that I own. Yeah, it's a problem. <laughs> so, one thing that I want to start off with is an oldie, but an oh so goodie. It was actually my first ever high-end highlighter that I ever purchased on my own. And that is the Tried and True MAC Soft and Gentle. It's been very used so used and this is my second one that I have purchased it's honestly like my favorite just because it's not like there's glitter in it but it's such a fine glitter that like it's so pretty so this is like a random brush that I bought off of Amazon in a set that was like six dollars and they're honestly like some of my favorite brushes. So we're just gonna put it on top of the highlight that I'm already wearing. Oh my god. <laughs> like this used to be such like, it's still a cult classic, but now like no one talks about it because you have brands like, <coughs> well, makeup, Revolution and Becca and Smashbox that have like started coming out with like <laughs> more highlights that no one really goes to MAC anymore. Then you have like Makeup Geek that has like a million and ten dupes for like all MAC products that uh, I'm still obsessed with. <laughs> so the next one that I'm now okay, okay. Okay, I love Becca Oval so much, but I can't find it. I think there's a bitch that I live with that has stolen like a bunch of my shit. Stole that one too. My door's open. I hope she's here and can hear me. Anyway, I love Jacqueline Hill. She is one of the makeup artists here on makeup artist here on YouTube that like actually taught me how to not have gold eyeshadow going up to my eyebrow and what blending was. <laughs> and where I live back home when I'm not on campus because even when I am on campus there is no mall within an hour and a half of here. And bitch is broke. <laughs> bitch is your typical college student who can't afford gas. Last time I filled my car up with gas, I paid in quarters. I have no shame. <laughs> but my amazing boyfriend waltzed his ass over to the Sephora near where he lives and got me the last one of her palettes. Huh. Huh. Now, I love Prosecco Pop, or what is that one called? Prosecco? Yeah, Prosecco Pop. <laughs> if I had something on the name. <laughs> I love that. But 
This bitch. This bitch right here is stunning. So we're gonna put that one on too. I have to go to a study group after this one. Oh well. Oh my god. So we're gonna take Prosecco too. Put that to emphasize it anymore. We're gonna also, also pop that into the inner corners. Oh yeah. Now, I, right now I don't own any foundations that truly match. This is the closest one I have, but I also mixed in some concealer with it to make it a little lighter. And as much as I love champagne pop, I can't wear it when I'm like a ghost. And I am always a ghost before my birthday because the sun is never out before my birthday. So I really only wear champagne pop after burp. <sighs> yeah. Um, when I am a little tanner. <laughs> Unless I, you know, have no shame and I walk around with not matching foundation. Call me nanny and you ain't bitch. I don't give a fuck. I can still slay harder than half the bitches on this campus except for today because I had 8 a.m. And I didn't want to throw on that much makeup. Oh well. <laughs> yeah. Love Jaclyn Hill. Love Champagne Pop. My favorite highlight over the summer. But this is the one. Yeah, this is the other one. But this is going to be a close competitor. Because Casey Holmes slayed this shit. And I also have the Pearl Palette. That one is just at home. Because I've been going home a lot lately. Because finals are next week. Yeah. And I left my room this past weekend because we had a four day weekend. And I thought, ah, oh, there's a protective layer. And I should take that off. But I'm not going to. <laughs> and I thought that maybe this was going to come fix some of the shit that I had promised they'd be fixing since I first moved in in August. But have they? No. No, they have not. Anyway. Um, this is her gold palette, and I'm actually, like, watching her right now, too. Man, <laughs> this is her gold palette, and I love these shades so much. But definitely for when I am not pale as hell, I actually love using this middle shade, uh, crank it up <laughs> for eyeshadow whenever I want to do a simple look like today. Granted, I'm not wearing it today. I'm wearing another thing that I have in here. <sighs> so pretty. The pearl, I swear if I don't hit pale on that within the next like two weeks, I'm going to be amazed because I had been using that so much. Except, of course, now because it's at my house. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. And last but not least, this is a problem. But I have no shame in it whatsoever. So I layer <laughs> these three highlights whenever I need something super intense. And of course, I don't have a retail near me, so we're just gonna. That's the one shiny hand I got. Okay. <laughs> so. I have extremely oily skin, so when I need to glow to the motherfucking gods, aka when June 4th comes around and I'm in a wedding, I'm going to be glowing like a motherfucker. <laughs> so I bought this, not even paying attention, thinking that it was the powder and not the cream, because Jaclyn Hill once again made me want pearl. But, uh, they only had the cream. I thought that was a powder because I'm stupid. But now, what, typically I'll have like a little stippling brush. I take it, I put that way down. First layer. We're just gonna put that on my leg. I'll have one shiny ass thigh. Okay, and then after that, this is what I'm wearing on 
my eyeballs right now. This is Light Scapade from MAC. It is also stunning. I will layer that on top of Pearl. Gonna get a little bit more. Because why not? No shame. <laughs> and then on top of that, this is the Makeup Revolution. Uh, this is their baked highlighter powder. And this is in Peach Lights. Well, I put that on top of those. <laughs> oh yeah. Granted, it's a little, little more blended whenever I put it on. But these three together, like on days where I just throw on some foundation, some bronzer and mascara, and I want to glow. <laughs> oh my god. I need to find like a more summer friendly version of this because this is going to be a little light when I am bronzed. <laughs> Because even though I'm pale as fuck right now, bish gets brown over the summer. But then again, I also have a tendency of falling asleep whenever I'm outside. Because I'm a lazy piece of shit. <laughs> okay. And so, now that this is like 20 minutes long, actually it's just like 11. Um, those are my top 6 slash 5 slash whatever. I never burp again. I had too much coffee. <sighs> Favorite highlights? Um, I think I might do some makeup videos. I don't know if those lovely five of you that watch me want to see those. You know, tell me. I love doing makeup. I'm not awful at it. I need to set <laughs> the corner of my nose a little bit better. Because like I said, oily motherfucker. <laughs> so yeah. That's that. I hope you guys have a great day or night or whatever time it is when you guys are watching this. Uh, oh, happy Easter. That was on Sunday. So yeah. Bye guys.